they can have it just on the computer and they can maneuver it and 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 and, and uh, do whatever they want to do over a computer. You know, it's easy to change numbers when it's all computerized. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, when everything is digital, you can change and alter and, and fuck with and manipulate. Exactly. And and like exactly. like you're saying, the, the chip under the skin. You talking about that commercial when the guy's going through the um, store and he picking up shit, sticking in his pocket, and he walk out the door and go dee 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 dee. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen no commercials. He, that was like that was on TV a few years ago. Real scared. And the guy he's going through, he's going through the shop that obviously is late at night. He's walking through the store. He's just picking up shit, sticking in his pocket. He's like, damn, what the fuck kind of commercial is this? And he walks out and Visa, best way to pay. <laughs> you know, motherfucker didn't stop one time. He's sticking shit in his pocket and shit. You know, walking all out the store. Dee, 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 dee. Visa, best so way to pay. Was in him? Huh? It was implanted in him? Oh, no. It's, it's, you never see him pull a card out. And he goes through uh, the whole yeah. store and he's doing yeah, all yeah, his shopping. Just, and he just walks out the it's store and he's a... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what? <laughs> but I don't want no chip in my arm. As much as I use my ATM card, I know when I ain't got no money. You feel me? So, this is why I was bitching about this yesterday. You use your ATM card. This is your money, remember. Your money. You go to my bank, I'm charging you $5. Oh, oh. Supposedly, because once you put your money in the bank, technically it's, it's they money. Yeah. And they holding it. They holding it for you. Mm -hmm. um, they holding it for you. They promising to give you uh, oh, interest. When you lose it, when when the bank loses that money, you know, they tell you, you know, they, they set up all types of contracts mm. that you they make it make you think is your money. But if they don't have the FDIC, you don't don't uh, insure that shit. You're going to mm -hmm. find out that was the bank's money. <laughs> yeah. When it's bottom line, when you put your money in that bank, it shows up as that bank's money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't show up under no individual's name. It's That belongs to the Wells Fargo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or, they, start, they start loaning it out. They don't got to call you and say, oh, we had someone come in and they wanted a loan. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, 50 cents or whatever, <laughs> $3.50 comes out of your portion that we're loaning. Everybody lost three dollars and fifty cents. We just, mm -hmm. you know that, you know that's because that's not how it works. You know, it's the bank's money, and at the same time, like I said, they leverage that shit up so they can. Anytime you put money in there, they can go nine times the amount that you even put in. They just mm -hmm. get into creation. You know? Yeah, well, that, that's yeah. why I look. I look at it like this. Now, um, oh, shit, I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say something. I forgot. Okay, look, we're gonna say something else then. When I look at it like this, how much time we got? Huh? How much time we got? Go. We got two minutes and 51 seconds on, already on this one. I'll start another one. This We two minutes into this one. Six All minutes right, left. Awesome. Nine minutes left. Forget it. Something like that. But <laughs> this, this systems that we, we go through, it's, it's not just corrupt. You know, everybody starts out with good intentions. You know, all these, you know, like, like the lady from Australia says, you blaming everybody, AIX, but you have to blame who the blame is on. And during these sets of videos, we've been talking about who the blame is on. And the lady says, America goes overseas and sets up these sweatshops. And da-da-da-da-da. America is one of the biggest consumers of this and that and this and that. America this, America that. We here in America know America's fucked up. We here in America are reaching out to people across the world to tell the people across the world there is no golden sidewalks. The Golden Gate Bridge is not made of gold. You know what I'm saying? America is fucked up. People nine struggle. Nine times out of ten, though, I'm going to be real with you. Nine times out of ten, this is just real talk. Mm -hmm. The people you're reaching out to already know. Yeah. You know, it's, it's us Americans who aren't aware of what's going on. If you go to you go to Australia, you go to England, you go to these different places, you go to... Uh, any, any, almost <laughs> anywhere, anywhere but here. <laughs> you know, they, they know what's going on. They know that America's being raped by the Federal Reserve. They don't know that they have a Federal Reserve also, you know what I'm saying? Or they, they do, you know? Mm. They got more. I'm going to just say this. They more informed than Americans are. I'm going to say that flat out. They are more informed than Americans are because Americans, we sit on this high horse like, like we... Like like you said, we are the greatest, you know, we mm -hmm. the greatest nation, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. So we we sit up all high, not knowing that we get raped every day, you know. Yeah. Well, I give that to the foreign countries, whether you in uh, Ireland or wherever, mm -hmm. that, you know what I'm saying. They do, they do, they are more informed than Americans are. If you did statistics, 
I, I guarantee it will back that up that Americans, for the majority, the majority of Americans don't even know nothing that's going on. Remember that one video, of fluoride in the water? What's that? There's a video called Fluoride in the Water. You got this guy from England. Uh, I think he's from England. He's in America, and he's asking Americans easy fucking questions like, what's the capital of California? And they're like, hey, uh, uh, San Francisco? I mean, <laughs> I mean. I've seen, I've seen a couple of those. And and it's pitiful yeah. that we're looked at, we're looked at around the world as well. We're mighty. We're, we're this shit. We're this, we're that. We're the bomb. And all of a sudden, we're, we're also looked at as arrogant, stupid, childish. You know, there's so many images of America, and none of them actually are the real America. Real Americans are starving to death. This, if, if I swear, if I was overseas, I would grab my video camera and come over here and film fucking homeless people and ask motherfuckers to donate money to America. Because that's how fucked up it is. The rich stay rich. The poor get killed. Period. You don't, you don't. The poor, the poor just don't fade away. They get killed. I won't tell you what. I won't explain what I mean by poor people get killed. First of all, you can't go to the doctor if you're poor. You need some help. You're fucked. Medical, wipe that off the table. Hungry. Homeless. In America, homeless people are just like walked over. Like, oh shit. I gotta step over this pile of dog shit. And it's actually a human being. You know what I mean? We we talk a good fight, we fight a good fight, but we don't give a fuck about fighting for ourselves. You know what I mean? We can send people to Iraq and they can die, but we can't send people to Iowa. See what I'm saying? Hey. To to fight for something. Um we're divided, we're polarized, um, we're sexually frustrated, you know. The motherfuckers is hey. fucked up. It has to I think it has a lot to do with as far as as far as uh the different the different wealth classes and whatnot. We like they we expect the the wealthy the the wealthy expect they weigh a living, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time they don't know what that does to the next person, you know. They don't yeah. know that, that that the couple dollars that you was getting, you know, how it affects the next person, you know. Mm. So it's like we don't care about the person next to us. Why, why are we doing all of this stuff? Like, even if you just look at Americans as a whole, you know, mm -hmm. way of living, our way of borrowing all of this money and whatnot, and then you look at different countries that d don't really have nothing, you know? Mm -hmm. like we borrowing all this money, and we not caring about the next person, you know what I'm saying? So it's almost like, it's almost like karma in a sense, you know, that we that we thought we was the the almighty power, you know, and we borrowed all of this money, but at the end of the day this all this money we borrowed is gonna be a, a real blow to mm -hmm. all of us as a whole, you know. But then what do we borrow the money for? For what? What does America need uh, money our for? Different, our different greedy endeavors, you know, we want big houses, we want big cars mm -hmm. and, and and by all means that we we run out to get them. We want the newest the newest and the latest of everything and not all of that stuff matters at the end of the day you know we could have been bringing humanity together as a whole if we would have used a lot of that money to uplift everyone you know versus well, just being it's not just that century itself. we need a real educational system it's like like I always I always tell people we should be teaching law in school instead of some other shit you know people to watch this documentary that I had you know, because we're bound by the law. We got like, uh, I'm going to just roll another one out. Yeah, this is six. Save changes. We got about... Is it over? No, we got, shit, 40 seconds on this one, but I'm just going to start another one. Well, I want everybody to check this movie out. It's called Architects of Control. Architects check of Control. Out. Architects of Control. Google it, and it talks about a lot of this stuff. It talks about... How uh talks about consciousness and how we've been mind control out of consciousness and just out of having control over your own thoughts, man. So at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. If we all were on the level of consciousness, we could change things. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. so we're gonna straight. We're gonna keep rolling, cause uh I got them overlapping. So <laughs> they're overlapping now. So I ain't gonna be missing nothing.